gets its first sight of the 1972 Cup finalist Billy Bremner throwing balls into the crowd. There they go. Another part of this Leeds United routine where they've been doing training stints on the pitch, throwing balls to the crowd. And so there's a prize for somebody in this Wembley crowd already. Manager Bertie May settled on his uh, touchline seat with Steve Burtonshaw alongside him, Ray Kennedy, the substitute also, and right next to Les Cocker and Don Revy. So in a moment, this centenary cup final will be underway with Arsenal defending the goal to our left. And Maidley to take it up now for Leeds United. A fiercely competitive match and nothing between the two sides. Jones now for Leeds. And McNabb only half-stopping him, Jones getting it across, and Clark going in, and Alan Clark has put Leeds ahead! And now Simpson, we're in injury time, and there's very little of it ball. Frantic whistles now from the lead supporters. George Graham. Ball now to Simpson. And Jack Charlton, big Jack at 36 years old, gets it away and Leeds have won the FA Cup for the first time. They group around Don Rivy. The Leeds fans go crazy. And Harvey has collapsed on the floor. No, it's Barnett. Barnett has... Down on the floor. The cup already with the white ribbons. Leeds get it for the first time in their history. In centenary year. The cup goes to Billy Bremner and Leeds United. And so, Leeds United, the FA Cup holders, kick off. The rain settled down to drizzle. And this Wembley turf, the promised land for so many FA Cup finalists. Every professional footballer wants to reach an FA Cup final, and Leeds are here to defend it. But that was a bad ball. A turret for Sunderland. Blocked by Hunter. This is Horswell. Ron Guthrie up for the attack. Here's with the kick. Porterfield! Sunderland last won the cup on their only Wembley appearance in 1937 and now in 73 the new Sunderland step forward to receive the trophy once more. Bobby Kerr, the smallest captain, surely, ever to lay hands on this trophy. The Royal Highness, the Duchess of Kent. And no wonder he kissed it. A moment to treasure. The 1974 FA Cup final. Liverpool on the left, Newcastle United playing from right to left. Hall. Keegan! Goals play the rent, and Keegan does his shot. Good flick by Toshak the highway. Could this be two? Yes! Highway, Liverpool showing the party pieces. He wasn't offside. Smith. Yes! Keegan second! And Newcastle were undressed! The Royal Highness Princess Anne. And the cup belongs to Liverpool.
The 1975 FA Cup final is almost underway, and it'll be Fulham who'll be kicking off, attacking the goal to our right. Fulham in white, West Ham in their claret and blue, and white shorts, and away we go. Mullery now, switching the ball away out to the left there. Now it's Jimmy Conway for Fulham. As Alan was saying, just lacking this little killer instinct, that's all they're lacking at the moment. Otherwise, as he said, West Ham are there for the taking. But still nil-nil, and maybe it'll be West Ham who do the taking as Holland takes it up now, down the left for them. Billy Jennings screaming for the ball, hitting it first time! Miller gets it! Taylor turns it back, yes! Alan Taylor! Against the run of the play, the side that have been on the receiving end for all the first half, and a good percentage of the second, make the breakthrough! Oh, what a good ball by Holland there for Patton. And hit well by Patton, number two! And he's done it again! Alan Taylor! and white shorts, black stockings. Get us away with Southampton in those yellow shirts and blue shorts. Shannon, nice touch again. Carry on. Oh, look at this. Bobby Stokes. Hit well. Oh, he's there. Stokes has put Southampton in the lead. A great break there for Southampton. Peter Rodriguez, the cup for Southampton. Peter Osgood, the second time he's had a cup winner's medal, the last time 1970. touch for him. Hughes with the header. Keegan with the header. Off McElroy. Oh, and Pearson put through by Greenoff. Jones is after it. Pearson shot goal! <laughs> Too high for Keegan, but Case is there. The shot by Case to go! 1-1! What an answer! Hughes with the leap, but he's beaten in the air. Greenoff trying to get in behind Tommy Smith and might succeed in doing so. And the ball's in the net. And it's got to be down to Jimmy Greenoff, although Macari and Hill are there to claim it too. That is the supreme moment. Will it be Arsenal the favourites, or will Ipswich, on their first appearance in a Wembley Cup final, surprise a lot of people and win? In the next 90 minutes, we're almost certain to find out. As Arsenal get us away, this 1978 FA Cup final in the yellow shirts and blue shorts. Woods popping up on the far side now. Here he goes. Again, it breaks for him. This time for young David Geddes. Oh, he's gone past Nelson. Across the face of the goal. That's got to be it. And it is it. <laughs> the plinth will go to Clive Woods. Patrick Cobble, the Ipswich chairman. 
What a moment! The first time in their history. Steps Gary Bailey took there. Nelson's header. And Sunderland's again. Good timing getting it in the air. Now Brady with Makari snapping at him. I wonder if that's going to be the sort of thing we shall see for 90 minutes that Makari will need to stick close to Brady when he's in the midfield there. Price going right in there. And turning it back. And a goal. And it's got to be. Well, either Torbert or Sunderland. Here's Brady. It's going all the way. Can he find the shot or the cross? There's the little cross coming in. And that's number two by Stapleton. Two nothing down. And hope now is fast fading for them as... Koppel lifts that free kick in there again. It'll come all the way through to Jordan, turning it back in there again. And a goal! And it's good. And McQueen is the man who claims it. And there's McElroy getting in there. Can he finish it off? Yes, he can! Two goals in a minute. And suddenly United are back in it. Well, look at that picture. That tells it all. Arsenal were preparing their victory speeches and now they're dumbstruck. And the scenes on the two benches, well, I never know. The despair on the face of Don Howe and uh, Terry Neal. But wait a moment, it's there by Sunderland and they're back in the lead again and they're off the bench once more. What an amazing cup final.